Now we have the deciding Group H matchup between Entity 7 and Oyasumi Makuro. Left side Lapras, Zoroark, Snorlax, Ninetales, and Edigos. On the right side, we have Zacian with Umbreon, Oshifu, Etelion, and Blissey. Looking super disgusting to play against. I would not want to be up against Oyasumi Makuro's team comp. So yeah, win of this, I think. So if Oyasumi Makuro wins, they are through. If Entity 7 wins 2 0, they qualify. And if it's 2 1, there's going to be another tiebreaker between these two teams, I think. I'm not sure how that tiebreaker is going to, you know, play part in this, but that's all I know for now. Kumo is out. They don't have a chance anymore. One of these two teams will be first place in Group H. And yeah, Zashian, though, he's going to struggle for sure into this Lapras and Ninetales. You're right. Playing it. Um, we have an Invade right here, though. And just straight up sealing the thing away. I know Shifu's going to be stuck on level 4. to be quite sad. The Baito also stone away still. Actually, no, it wasn't stone away. He has 8 points. Never mind. I'm going to try to get level 5 somewhere right here. Snorlax going in with the eject button. It's going to steal away the bunny. In the enemy flux down. Just trying to be as annoying as possible. It's going to steal a berry away as well. No, he doesn't actually. It barely gets picked up before. And Snorlax trying to get away now. It's going to fall asleep on the spot. I wish I could be Snorlax right now falling asleep as well. I just want to take a rest. But there's Acrobotics coming in, and that's the first KO of the game. On to the Snorlax. First KO for the Japanese team. Up against the team of from Mexico. Going forward there for the Zashian, who's level 5 already, looking for the Sacred Sword, maybe. Can't quite. Doesn't it quite have it up, though, of course? And Erdogos is going to run away and take a berry as well. Ooh, Hitman is going to fall for sure. On a basic attack, Ambryon gets this KO. Two already for the side of Oyasumi Makuro. The team from Japan who got fourth place at the championship, who was one of the favorites to actually win this entire tournament as well. They kind of dropped the ball in the Japanese championship though. Again, only getting fourth place. They just barely qualified to this year's world, to this year's world championship. And now they're on their way to maybe making it to the top eight of the world championship. With Mame, of course, who was very good last year, who got top four with T2. Mage is level 7 already. He's going to get gauged on by the Shouting Strikes Shifu, though. He's going to try to turn around. Level 7 is the highest level currently in the game. On that Zorak. Shifu heading towards mid path. Going to clear these Altaria for free. He's going to get him level 7 as well. Liquidation will be picked up. And Zorak is looking for the engage down to the bot goal. Looking for the dive onto Intellion. Can he find the Chaos the question? Gets locked up, but no. He's going to get Umbreon. He's going to straight up go for Umbreon. Shifu's here now. Looking for the counter KO. Ashian, meanwhile, is going to take down Lapras in the 1v2 on top path. Snorlax, on the wrong side of the map, gets kicked down by the Yoshifu. And taken down. No, a 2-1 as well. If Entity wins 2-1, then both teams have the same score. But Entity 7 has won against Uyasumi Makro then. So I think you are saying nonsense, right? If Entity 7 wins 2-1 right here... Then both teams have three map wins and three map losses, right? Or like around, no, around that, yeah. So, we will see. It's going to be uh, some tiebreaker stuff. Why will we, your sweep will be one plus? Didn't, why? Eh, what are you saying? I don't know what you're, what you're saying. Oh, yes, for me, it's 2 1 at 2 0. Oh, that's. Oh, no, you're right, because they're 2 0. Yeah, yeah, never mind. You're right, NT7 has to win 2 0. It's getting late, guys. If it's 2 1, then Uyasumi Makro has the better, you know, win loss. You're right. Because then Uyasumi Makro would be 3 and 2. And NT7 would be 3 and 3, which means one less map loss. So, yeah, you're right. I think so. Now, yeah, Entity has to win 2-0. Game is pretty close right now, 68 to 68 points. Currently just trying to figure out who's going to take what in this in this group. That's because, yeah, Kumo didn't get a map of what you assume, you're right. That is correct. Level 11 now for the Zashian. He's very far ahead right now. Mami going forward, playing the Umbreon. Kind of weird seeing Mami on a more of a defender position right here, but they're going to get the KO. Onto the lap press somehow. And Zorok engaging those. Gonna look for the Unite Move as well. Blissy Assistance goes on to Intilion. Trying to save Blissy as well. 
Blizzard Avalanche combo is going to miss, but Eldegoss is going to fall right here. They're going to try to keep running them down. Oshifu and then Reflux down gets knocked away by the Blizzard, but is able to follow through and get three thirteen strikes onto the Night Hit. Slap Press now back with the wave. It's going to hit a huge Ice Beam as well. It's going to take on Inteleon. Steven is getting chased down, though. Can Umbreon find the KO? Doesn't look like a baby. Zrock is back. No, that's two KOs for Entity 7. Looking for the third one. Onto the Yoshifu. Perish Song is there. And Lapras with a huge teamfight win for Entity 7 right here. They're going to try to break the goal as well. They're going to dive onto Zashian. He's going to fall asleep to the Yawn. Into the Heavy Slam. They're going to take down the Zashian, who was level 11. It's a lot of experience. And that's going to be so important. They're going to try to break the goal very badly right here. 32 points. We're going for Lapras eventually. And they're going to break the goal. And now Entity 7 is actually had in experience. Umbreon still on the left side, they're looking for the KO, but Nightingale is going to fall. Snorlax is going to fall next as well until activate the Unite move. That's two more KOs for Yasumi Makro. But NT7 still break the goal and won a team fight before. Registry will now go over to the side of the Japanese team, unless Lapras can steal it away somehow. Ice Beam now gets pushed away there by the foul play and can't even reach it in time. Let's see, trying to score right here. Kind of greedy there again. Mami is still around, going in with a snarl and foul play, looking for Lapras. Lapras is another unite move right now. Bumps into Umbreon and to Ushif, and is going to just run away now with that move speed bonus. Heavy slam trying to buy time. They're trying so hard to defend right now, but Lapras is going to fall. And Night hits with the unite move as well. Can they take anyone down? Zork is already back with the unite move as well. Ushifu trying to get away. He's going to dive in with a faint attack. He's going to take him down as well. Looking for the next target onto Eterion. Jumps across him. Gets himself a double KO as well. And Mami is also going to fall next. Three KOs for Entity 7. Soix is going to take the Regilecki. He's level 13. And this game is insanely close. This game is insanely, insanely close right now. One and a half minutes to go for that Ray to spawn. And yeah, Reggie's is looking good. But so is the Doshifu. But just very good goal defense. Onto this bottom tier 1 goal. Swig's so always spinning up the boost auto attack in case he needs that small jump in. I mean, Lapras and Nine Tits is very good together. It's so much CC. So annoying to play against. Neither team really doing anything right now. Both are just waiting for something to happen, for something to spawn. There's not a single white Pokemon up on the map right now. All of the white Pokemon are cleared currently. So both teams just kind of in a passive state right now. Mid-Atari up. Gonna get taken by Yosemi Makuro. That's gonna be level 14 for Zash here now hit. But again, we have said it before. Late game teamfights are difficult. He's up against Ninetales. And jumping into that is very, very scary. One pushback, one Blizzard Avalanche. And he might just be going down in an instant as well. Night is one of the best counters right now to these annoying melee Pokemon that just try to run in. There's a Reggie up, but neither team is actually going to go for it. They don't want to get themselves into a bad position. And they're rather going to go for this mid Rayquaza position. Level 13 for Shifu as well. Level 13 for Tier on the right side. Level 12. Only for Night on the left side. So Entity 7 is a bit behind in experience. Almost one level across the board. Oh, but it's a finally breaking out. Heavy Slam is gonna go in there. He's gonna instantly go for it. Zorak's gonna kind of fifth the move. This assistance goes on to Shifu, and Zorak gets pushed up, pushed down. And now they're gonna engage onto Lapras. They're gonna try to take Lapras down as well. That's two KOs, three KOs for Yosumi. Four KOs. It's only down to nine tails. And that should probably be first game. And Tell me Jack Button onto the nine tails, who's just trying to run away, which means he can't even go for this Ray. And that's Ray Quasar secured for the Japanese team. And they're gonna go to the left side, they're gonna score a lot of points. 200 already go in. Another 150 points go in here as well. They're kind of getting stopped though. Zashin is trying to not... He's not even trying to score for some reason. He wants to first go for some KOs and now he's going to score. Let his teammate score. Still refusing to just score those points on Zashin because it feels bad even if they're winning. But they're going to take the first game. Second draft now between Oyasumi Makuru and Entity 7. Left side we have Lapras, Zashin, Oshifu, Blissey and Elifion. Two around us, one speedstar, no attacker. Full melee on the right side, Dodrio, Inteleon, Zorak, Trevenant, and then Eldegoss. Very all-in team comp from Oyasumi. They have the bot lane Zashin with a Lapras. And yeah, Leafeon on top path with the Chenzi. Gonna have Pure again on the Yoshifu that he's been playing a lot. And have a lot of success on Reggie. 
on the Jungle Zoro arc, which was a huge part and I think them becoming the Mexican champions, if I remember correctly. Let's see what he can do against Japan with the Zoroark. They're already going for an evade right here, but Dodu is going to get sliced down. Oh, but Suix doesn't have enough damage. Dodu barely gets away on literally 1 HP, makes the recall in time, and Hitman does get away. They also steal the buff away, so now we have the Yoshifu stuck on level 3 right now, but Lapras now looking for the invade. So he's looking for the last, he doesn't get it, the Will-O-Wisp of Driven is perfectly timed. And he gets an easy last hit right there. Now, Doji might be engaging onto Zashin, but Zashin level 4 is so scary still. does so much damage on these basic attacks. They're gonna jump onto Doji and he's sliced down so fast. Next level 5 now for the Yoshifu. He's gonna just dive in onto Trevenant. That's just score. He could have just probably scored 21 points, but he doesn't care. Dives into the Flux Zone, takes the berries away as well. He's gonna keep on diving, and it's just Yoshifu again. He gets the KO. Stuck in the Flux Zone, but it just doesn't matter. So much mobility. He keeps on diving. Okay, chill. Puri, chill. Calm down, man. He could have scored a lot of points as well, but he's so bloodthirsty. But understandable, Ushifu is just made to be bloodthirsty. Now we have the duel right here. Zoroark against Ushifu. And they're just going to disengage for now from this fight. And yeah, Fluxstone. It just doesn't matter where Ushifu is. It's just gonna be so aggressive. You have Leafino taking over the center area. While Lushifu is just diving everywhere, tries to get 27 points, and Dodi is going to try to stop it. Gets Dove on again, but now Zorak is here. Can really do something about this? Faint looking for the faint attack. He's going to find it onto Zashi. No, he's going to miss one of the faint attacks, though. It's going to disappear now, and he's going to get chased down. Maybe Suix, the missing one basic attack. And he's going to try to see Barry right with the Solar Blade from Ton. Flies him from the side with the Leaf Blade and takes him down. Looking for the Dodi next. He can store 14 points. Nothing Dodi can do about this right now. And Uyasumi is just taking over this early game with their just oppressive Pokemon. Leaf in level 4, Ushifu in level 5, Zashi in early game. They just have such insane early game. So many strong Pokemon very early on that do a crazy amount of damage and have very good last hitting. But of course, I mean, the rest side with Inteleon as well. Goes in with that boost auto attack, looking for the Sacred Sword. He's going to take down one as well. And Swix now disengaging back to the left side. Lapras <laughs> stealing away a berry. And uh, 44 to 18 points now. We're going to have the. Itari pretty much just disappears. Ruix hitting level 8 right here. And this Trevenant is stuck on level 4 right now. And it's hard for him to get experience. Because this early game of Uyasumi is just on a different level. I think their late game team fighting might be a bit bad. But their early game is just so insane. 30 and 30, 70 points go in. I'm going to try to break this goal. Maybe they're going to keep on diving. Camp <laughs> Q almost level 9 already. And right now Entity 7 literally can't do anything. They're so far behind in experience already. They're so far behind. 8, 8, 9 on the left side. The highest on the right side is that Reggie on level 8. But besides that, level 6 for the rest of the team. So he's diving in now, but he's dropping low HP. Can he take on Trevenant? Yes, he can. Slices through him. Dash dodges away from the Reggie Rock stun. Gets drip hacked right now, but Dory doesn't get the KO. Zashin lives on 1 HP. And now they have almost 3 level 9 Pokemon already. They take down that Reggie Rock. 99 to 38 points. And they're just cruising ahead right now. Absolute domination in this early game. Reggie's gonna take down the red buff. Hitting level 9 here as well. Steven's stuck on level 7, but has liquidation at least now. So it's gonna do a lot of damage. And they're gonna gauge onto Shifu. There's liquidation going down onto the Leafeon. But no follow up. Not enough damage. It goes down. Oh, Zorak is diving in with the Unite move. Looking for a K onto Leafeon. But Leafeon does get away. No, they're gonna return again. Ushifu diving the flux down. As always, going for Edegos. The Shinja doll actually is going to save Intellion right here. Maybe, unless Zashian can follow through, but no, he can't. Don't you have one HP right now, but Zorak has no chance as well. Gets taken down, and it's 40 and 33 points going in for Yasumi. Crazy game so far. Man, this is, I mean, the full melee comp, right? But they just have, they just have such early power spikes that can just completely take over this game. That's the problem with Trevenant as well. Trevenant just takes so much time as well as a bot lane defender to actually start doing something. Can we cut it off sometimes? Currently stuck on level 8. They're still missing three Unites on the right side. But Dodri does 11 9 now. And the game, I mean, the game is still completely winnable. I think they're going to have very good team fighting later on. And they're going to have a lot of NEDs to farm back experience. We know Flopio taking the Regilecki. And Entity 7 is looking for this fight. You want to do something? Lapras Express with the Zashian. That's nothing you want to see running into your team. And Trevenant just dodges away from it with the Unstoppable. Tanks the wave. And now Mami might be stuck in a bad position. He has no Unite move anymore. He has to use X Speed. He's going to run away. Top path. We have Edegos going very deep right here with Zorok. He's going to miss the feint attack. That's already one down. Edegos, Trevenant trying to buy time. 
It's not gonna be enough drip hack going on to the Blissey. Double kill for a sheaf. We're gonna try to chase on Dodrio for the triple. Jump kick, boost out, take across. But Zashian, agility, anti jack button forward, gets the KO. And the Regilek is also in. Now Reggie's looking for a KO right here. Can he get it? No, he can't get it either. This is so brutal to watch right now. They're going to try to go in 42 points for the Yoshifu, maybe. Getting looked up by the Wood Timer. But as Bliss Assistance going down a huge shield. But the Regilecki does time out. And they will not be able to push it in. Drip Hack. Can they at least get a KO right here? No, there doesn't seem to be. Maybe Blissey's going to finally fall. I think Blissey is for sure going to get down right here, right? Drip Hack is going to land. But the Shifu activating the Nightmove, diving back in. Can I get any stuck on the wall a tiny bit? If he doesn't get a KO right here, it could be quite be of comeback experience. But he just slashes through them, gets one, activates the Nightmove, goes for the second one. And that's almost level 13 Ushifu now. 234 to 43 points. And uh, at this point, Entity 7 needs a miracle to happen. They're going to try to dive back in, but Zorak just can't get anything done this game. He cannot get a single thing done. He just keeps on dying in his combo, trying to get it off. It is a brutal. Absolutely brutal. But, you know, nothing a Rayquaza cannot fix, right? Maybe, I don't know how, but <laughs> like, so your Sami has to throw this game pretty hard now in order to maybe win. I actually have Leafion going down. That's a comeback experience right here. Leafion goes down and you can see Ton is a bit confused there at the bottom. They're actually talking to the players right now. Something is... Who's that person talking there? He's right next to the Japanese player. I'm not sure what's happening. Is he talking to the players right now? <laughs> what is happening in the camera there? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Whatever. Which they cannot take in by Uyasumi. And Dashian's gonna take down Doldrio right here. And they sort of keep on pushing. This is the thing I said. They just don't hesitate and waste time. Just keep on going and going and going and going. Over and over again. And there's looks like there's gonna be a pause. And now we're heading back into the game. Hopefully all the issues have been solved. Reggie getting chased on right here, is able to escape. And now we have to set up this Rayquaza fight. Level 30 now for Zorok almost. I mean, they're caught up in experience. Level 12 Dodrio, level 12 um, Italian. But of course, both of those Pokemon went level 30. But Jody's actually hitting level 13 right here. He's gonna get the jump kick plus. Who's actually diving forward, looking for the Sacred Soul, doing a lot of damage. Gonna jit here away. Just a bit of poke, seeing if he gets a lucky crit in. And he can keep on chasing if he gets a crit in. If he doesn't. Can always agility to safety super super easily and be alive. 234 to 80 points. Still a huge lead. 27 still needs a miracle. To come back into this game. But it looks like is, is Rayquaza being started? There's a Honich landing. Would Hammer Blissey match go down right here to Bliss assistance? But Blissey goes down before the Nightmove was going to connect. Now Tillion doing a lot of damage. With the Nightmove is going to keep on basic attacking. They're going to try to go for pure. He gets locked up. Double KO, three KOs, four KOs now for Entity 7. They find the team fight and they're going to go for a 5 to 0? No way. They get a 5 to 0 team wipe. Not losing a single member. Oh, yes, from Makuro goes down, gets ace. They're going to take down Rayquaza. And I think out of nowhere they're just gonna win to the second second game. How did they win this team fight this hard? Oh yes, yeah, so Makuro with a terrible team fight. And I guess that the what time at Trevenant was doing a lot of put in a lot of work. And I think that might be at 50 seconds left, 150 points lead now for the team from Mexico. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I think they have no time left to make a push happen. And second game goes to Entity 7. Draft for game number three, and I have no idea what's going on right now. We have a double defender, double speedster team comp for Entity 7 up against Umbreon, Oshifu, Gudro, Antillion, and Blissey. Absol, Dodrio, Lapras, Snorlax. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm wishing Entity 7 a lot of good luck right here because I don't know. I do not believe in what I'm seeing right now. I do not believe that they're going to win this game. I guess after last game, they decided not to pick any more squishy Pokemon, but they still have, I guess, Absol. Reggie's gonna. Start playing that. We have Dodri heading towards bot path. But this is this looks not good, I have to say. I don't know how they're ever going to take down a Gudra or something. Or the Umbreon. Mean look is going to be huge. Or Foul Play is also going to be huge. One of those two. But we've been after going for the Invade right here. Trying, of course, to handicap the Yoshifu a bit. But doesn't succeed. Now he's going to get chased down. Rip of a stay. Is he going? No, they're not going to chase, right? There's no point in chasing on the Snorlax. It's going to take a bit too long time. Kapu is still level 4. But they secure the rep buff. No chance he's going to join. A torn up top path here. I'm going to try to take over this lane. We have three now top though for Entity 7. It might just still lose Snorlax anyways. Yeah, he goes down to the Goopa. 
I'm looking for the next last hit is right now. Tries to go in. And uh, I don't know if actually... Did they actually get that last hit? I think so. Maybe. Can they see this one this way? And they also get it. No, they didn't get it. This one goes over to Entity 7. If Ushifu now heading towards top path already, he's going to start diving. As always, he's just going to be so aggressive. But uh, it, uh, uh, Absol is here. Can he find the Pursuit resets on someone? Oh, he goes down so fast. What even happened? Yeah, Absol is such a bad poke. Come on. <laughs> Double kill for Ushifu. He couldn't even get one Pursuit out. He just went down to I don't even know what. No one's even hitting him. He just dies from 100 to 0. So fast. I'm going to dive onto this Lapras now. And Ushifu goes down. And Absol rejoins and goes down instantly again. Yeah, I. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know if anyone is surprised. They're going to be very honest right here. But of course, Uyasumi is punishing it quite, quite well. That's, yeah, they're going to. I mean, they're punishing it well, but still. I just don't know what uh, this absolute pick is supposed to do right here. <laughs> I, really, I really don't know. They have no damage for late game either, right? They have to win the early game as well now with that Absol. But up against Ushifu, they're not going to win, they're not going to win the early game. Absol is getting evaded now, Ushifu looking for the KO, but actually there, Lapras and Absol, they take down Ushifu. So it could be uh, fine now. They're able to win this fight and get a lead. Not level 7, he's going to pick up the Pursuit, which is going to probably help him, unless he goes for a Psycho Cut. Please don't tell me he's going for a Psycho Cut. I mean, I guess maybe he needs more damage in this game. It is a Psycho Cut Pursuit Absol. Reggie, what are you doing? But they're going to get one KO with it at least. 30 points will go in as well. He's going to start taking up that attack rate. 13 points as well for the Edegos. And <laughs> I, just, I don't know what their plan is. I really don't. There's some really weird drafts you have had this tournament. And it just feels like that some teams just don't want to draft proper things sometimes. It's it's super weird. He just can't even walk up because Ushifu is just there. Puts on the Psycho card, but Ushifu's dashing all over the place, going for Edegos, diving towards the second goal as well again. Dice back out. Has other shooting strikes up, goes back in onto Absol, and Pew just has the time of his life right now again. Meanwhile, we have uh, Blissey working on this red ice. He's going to join them back on bot path. Jump kick, drill pack, but nice, the full here is going to stop the drill pack from happening. And Eteno activating the as well, already level 9, it's going to do liquidation, Snow Lakes goes down. Mean lock onto Edegos, Edegos is going to get basic attacked to death. Two people down. Lapras is going to 4x. And, yeah. They, they, get, they got a chance, right? We assume he gave them a chance in the last game to actually maybe get a 2-1 out of them. And this would be huge because whoever wins this is going to make the quarterfinal, right? This is a huge game right now. This is for thousands of dollars that are on the line. And you go with a psycho cut up soil and no range attacker. I just don't know. Honestly, I'm at loss for words. But maybe they have something else in that game. Blister Systems goes on to Intellion. This is for making it out of the group stage. If you win this, you're a top 8 team in the entire world. I mean, I guess they probably practiced it and had good success with it. But... <laughs> yeah. This is rough. Rough to watch right now. Reminds me a bit of that uh, Nones Esports game as well. That looked uh, not great. Hitman are getting caught, getting taken down by Dodrio, and Tonish is looking absolutely unstoppable right now. Goes for the Edegos. Yeah, good luck killing this Gudra. 11 already now. Looking for the next one. Gets the whip onto the lab press. The Muddy Water is connecting, doing a lot of damage right now. Lab press does go into the Express and tries to go for Intilion and does so successfully. Tonish keeps on basically taking the lab press, and lab press is surely going to fall. It's going to take a bit of time, of course. Gudra does good damage, but not as enough to decay the Lapras fast. And Mushifu going on to Snorlax right now. They're diving this T2 goal right now. And it's for sure going to walk in. There we go. They're going to get a huge overcap as well. 348 points already now in just 5 minutes. But last game was throwable. So maybe this game is also still throwable. Maybe Enter T7 pulls out an insane team fight again. But last game they had good late game Pokemon. With that Inteleon. And this time they're downed. There's no good late game Pokemon on this. I mean, Lapras. They have Lapras, I guess. Lapras, Edegos are good late game Pokemon. Doji is fine as well. And he gets the jump kick plus. But nothing compared to last game. And this time we have uh, also the Udra on the side of Oyasumi Makuro. Nice with Lens as well. Right here. And again, activate the Night Move. They're just going to take down Edegos very, very fast. Milok onto Lapras. Also taken down two KOs there for Inteleon. Looking for the next one. So Alex trying to run away, actually is getting quite quite fast. Uses the X-Speed or the Berry. He probably just got the Berry. 
and he gets to safety. Oh man, like I just, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't want to flame them, but you can't do that. Like anyone who sees this draft would be like, what are you guys doing? Of course, if it works, they're gonna be like, wow, okay, sure. But Ushifu's just two v four. I won't be fouling them right now. They have no chance to even take on this Ushifu whatsoever. He just won before to KO two people, and they still have to run away as well. Intel is going to take down up soil. You're playing for a top eight spot in the quarterfinal, and you pick pursued up soil with Dorji as your only damage dealer. This has to be the worst draft I saw this entire world championship. It has to be. I don't know what else to say. Chris sounds upset. I am upset. I am upset. This could have been... This is such a uh, important game for both teams. And then... It's just it's so weird. I know they probably had something planned. And they're like, okay. We have this Absol practice. We're gonna... You know, it's a pocket pick. They're not expected. But what what does Absol do? Even if you don't expect the Absol, it does nothing. <laughs> they're gonna jump in now onto Tomba Tom with 39. It was unstoppable. Three people down. Four people down. And they don't care, they just keep on running them down. Edegos, last person standing, triple KO for the Yoshifu. And we have Otto Edegos going down. Penta KO is stolen. It was only a quarter. Antillion takes the last one. Another three ace. Level 14, almost 15 for Shifu now. 14 for Gudra. Level 13 and a half for Antillion. The heights on the left side is level 12 Doju right now. Minato too late for this Regileki. It could even walk into the main base. I could you walk into the main base. Now, at this point, you just can't sugarcoat it. You just have to be like, you know, Entity 7. Like, this this is unreal. How? This is... <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> That's just unreal. Unreal team comp. I really just don't know what they thought this is going to be. Last two minutes are there. Whip is going to land onto Edegos and Tonish is going to go very aggressive. There's Snorlax yet already being used. Can Absol do anything in this fight is the question. Up against level 15 Ushifu though and Tillion also very very strong already. Minato runs away but gets whipped again and Ton takes another KO. Almost a level 15 Gudra now. A level 15 Gudra in a tournament. Are you serious? Yes he hits 15 now. 90 seconds to go. With a wish Umbreon as well. He's never going to go down. He is never going to fall in this game. That is for sure. But of course, they can just go. They can just ignore Gudra. Maybe go for Rayquaza. But you can see Tonja just keeps on going in. It's going to go for the Edigos. The range boosted. It's going to get this KO. And they can't even get to Rayquaza. With one minute left. One minute left. Yeah. And they somehow get into Rayquaza, but they don't they don't have damage for it either, right? Even if they go for Rayquaza, they just can't take it down. Upsoil is the only damage against it. And Upsoil is so squishy, just dies very fast in case, you know, it goes on it. Like one liquidation and Upsoil is down. They're gonna try to make their way in now. It's gonna try to go for this Rayquaza, jump kick across the void. Rip pick though, gets me locked and it's gonna look for this fight right now. Dodri going in with 39. Within 10 actually low on HP, but Hudo's already taken down the Upsoil. They're gonna try to go for more Mami with a 3 man Unite move. Rayquaza stayed half HP and that's 3 down. It's on to Lapras and Dodri. Even if he gets Rekvaz already, right, it's not going to matter. Maybe he does so, by the way, he doesn't even get it either. And that is Oyasumi taking it 2-1. And I don't know, Entity 7, they just deserve to lose this one. I, this drift is honestly a bit insulting, not going to lie.